สบายดี Welcome back to Lao 101 channel, the channel that will help you learn Lao by yourself. In this episode, I will start uh, teaching some basic grammar about Lao language, and today we will begin with present tense. For the affirmative sentence, usually in Lao, the Sentence will begin with subject, and the subject is usually with pronoun. So you can go back to the pronoun lesson, and you can see that um, you know how we say pronoun for different people. Because in Lao language, we usually call the um, say, for example, you talk to an older person, you usually use the pronoun by sister, brother, uncle, aunt, or uh, if younger, you could say nong. Uh, you can go back to my pronoun lesson and then just to see how you should begin your word uh, when you construct the Lao uh, sen sentence. So for affirmative, it usually starts with pronoun, the verb for actions, and then the noun again. Sometimes it could be adject adjective mm, and clarification, but then this is a basic one. I give you the example here. Koi Pai Hong Hien, Khoi means I, Go means Pai, and then School means Hong Hien. Khoi Pai Hong Hien, I go School. And the second sentence, Me means Mom, Pai Talat, Mom goes to market. Just observe here, in Lao language, we don't usually, uh, you know, like English, like when you say I, you have to say go, and then uh, for the third, par third party person, you have to say goes and split the tenses, which is something quite complicated for Lao people, but in Lao sentence, you just use the direct verb. Um, it could be different for present tense and um, past tense and future tense, but um, for for this lesson, I will focus only for present tense. And then Lao, Lao in this version, it will say he or she. So we don't have the gender. Uh, in Lao, we don't have the gender person either for he or she. We usually say ui or I. For example, I means brother. So for general term, like we just say he or she. Lao kin khao sao. He or she eats breakfast. Me kin khao sao, khoi kin khao sao. So this is the affirmative sentence structure. I feel that I speak quite fast. I hope it's not. But anyway, you, with YouTube, you can always go back to what was said before. And coming to this is a negative sentence. With negative sentence, you just add the word bo, bo means no or not so with negative question the structure pronoun and the word boy in the middle before the verb and then the noun again koi bo pai hong hien for example koi bo pai hong hien so bo means don't again we don't have the split different first person and third person me me Bo pai talat. Mom doesn't go to market. Lao bo kin khao sao. He or she doesn't eat breakfast. I just use the same sentence but just add in the structure. And the last sentence is about a uh, question sentence. This one is a bit complicated, even though the structure might be similar to the affirmative sentence, begin with pronoun, verb, and noun. The ending word here, there is two ways to write in Lao script, uh, which I don't know how to write in English, because when it write in the, um, in the form of English, it's almost identical. We have bo and bo. This one is with longer sound. Bo and bo. So the first one is quite straightforward and easy. Chao pai hong hien bo. 
do you go to school or not do you go to school today so it's quite simple for this one but in some sentence like the one that uh, the second sentence that I'm giving a sample here it's quite complicated if you give the sound of this one and if you give the sound of this one it's, it changes a little bit of the meaning for example I will say means does mom goes to uh, the market so it's a cup question where is she is she away to the market but then if you change the tone of saying the word ball it's more like you're asking mom to go to the market mom do you want to go to the market or not and this one is the same with this sentence here the same with this sentence here Lao kin khao sao bo. Lao kin khao sao bo. So this is a question. Does he have breakfast? But if you say Lao kin khao sao bo, it means would he like to eat breakfast? So it's totally um, changing the meaning, even though the structure of the sentence are the same, but the tonation, uh, the tone, the voice that you pronounce, it would give a little bit uh, meaning, different meaning to what you're saying to the person you're talking to. So um, I hope I explained this clearly. It's a bit complicated with the ending word of uh, Lao language. It has so many ending words as bo, bo, what the um, but anyway uh, we will slowly learning along and I will try to my best to explain the language to you and that's the end of my lesson today I hope you enjoy this and thank you so much for all your uh, support and watch La 101 and thanks for all the comments that give to us and the request for uh, learning more about Lao grammar so i will try my best to do it more and more and more often this year and please like and subscribe and click on the bell for notifications and then so so to make sure that you don't miss any new video from la 101 again once again thanks for watching